Hey everybody, this is Alan Fine and I'm here with Gina Gabbard who's the Chief Sales Officer and Lisa Bain who's the Vice President of Sales North America for Lindblad Expeditions and we are on the National Geographic Endeavor 2. We're in the Galapagos and we have a lot to tell you on Insider Travel Report. It's really astounding how many places Limblad is going to, so can you tell us about that? Yes, so in 2019, because I want to give you some comparison, we went to 54 destinations on seven continents. And when we now look forward to 2022, we will be traveling to 96 destinations across seven continents. So when you think about that, it's astounding to think we are really touching so much of the planet, very special places all around the globe. Right, right. And But you have new ships too to help you. We do. We have two beautiful new uh, babies, um, National Geographic Endurance and National Geographic Resolution, who will be joining the fleet um, this fall. Yeah, so these, these are two remarkable vessels. They're only 126 guests. I think this is really important for people to understand the size of these ships. And what's really important is we could have built bigger ships. We chose, we made the conscious decision to have ships that are smaller and more intimate. So this is 69 cabins. 53 of those have balconies, including all 12 solo cabins. So they're really remarkable. And people look at them and they've got this pointy nose. It looks like a bit of like a high speed train. And that's that x technology. And these yeah, are built, okay. right? Yeah. It's it's super- Less friction. Right, exactly. And smoother. Yes. Smoother ride, yes. more comfortable. And that's because they do Antarctica and the Arctic. So these are polar, specific class. vessels right ice class 1a lots of numbers and letters people always forget but the most important thing is you remember that when you want to go to antarctica or the arctic it's about going farther it's about going into the places that that the bigger ships just cannot access and doing it with a team that is focused on the safety and the care and the 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 education of our clients so that they truly understand and are impassioned by it because you know when Lars Eric Lindblad started this company the whole focus was to take people to impassion them so they would re return as a voice for the preservation of those places so if we can do that every time we travel somewhere then we've done our job and I think too what's really important especially for advisors who are selling Antarctica is the size of our ship really allows our guests to to be in the moment for longer periods of time mm. because you can right. only have and, and a lot of people don't right, realize right, right. this you can only have 100 people at a time um, you know out and and in the destination so if you've got a thousand people you've got to rotate and they got to like wait or even if you have 200 people, people. Yeah. so yeah. so it will impact the the experience from the standpoint of the amount of time that they can be in these incredible places right. so that is very special for us to have that sweet spot that sweet number and you have uh, another ship coming that we can't talk about yet, but they should look forward to it. Very can much so. Can we say that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. we can definitely say that because okay. it is public knowledge. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, let's talk about uh, you've got new partnerships. Yeah. Yeah, so we have two wonderful new partnerships. We have Divine Cycling, which is amazing cycling programs. And we also have Off the Beat Path which are these spectacular small groups or FIT programs in the national parks. And they just do sublime itineraries. So that along with Natural Habitat and Limblad, I mean, four brilliant adventure companies. We had a lot of mission moments on this trip. Do you want to discuss those? Oh, so many mission moments we've had. So I would well, explain what a mission moment, moment is. So for us, we've got 10 pillars um, that our company focuses on. And of course, one of them is to um, do everything to enhance the guest experience. And so, for example, right when we landed um, in Guayaquil, uh, one of our uh, travelers had left their iPad on the air aircraft. Mm -hmm. Another one had misplaced their passport. And so our team on the ground immediately went to action to try to retrieve these items. And so when we found the, the iPad, um, the airline said, well, you can pick it up tomorrow when you come back to the airport. But that would have impacted our guest experience in a negative way. So our um, uh, tour director that's here uh, in the Guayaquil area went at 1.30 a.m. 
to retrieve the iPad and brought it to our guest for breakfast the next morning. And she was overwhelmed at the care that our team went to after he'd had this very long day of, so of he work. went on an expedition that night he <laughs> went on an expedition <laughs> that night um, yeah. to make make her initial you know um, time with us to be positive right, right. Yeah. so uh, who who's the audience for this and and it's families too Let's yeah so together. look uh, expedition really is a state of mind it is not an age group and I think that's the really key thing when you start to talk about what we do it is it is for people who are inquisitive they want to learn they want to get out they want to be in the destination I mean we've yes. just come back from a zodiac ride we've just come back they don't look it do they they look great <laughs> we've just got off a zodiac from Hanavesa Island and We've got that glow we do have that we sun do. kiss glow yes, this evening yes. um, and, and the, the age spread on the ship this week with us, right, is 85 is our oldest here. And he has done every... I don't look yeah. bad for 85, do <laughs> I? <laughs> but he has participated in every part yeah, of this yeah. experience. And we have a brilliant family program called our Global Explorers Program, which was um, designed with National Geographic Education. And it is focused on our young guests. And we're often asked, you know, how young do you have in Galapagos? Well, Galapagos National Park does not have an age specification. Mm -hmm. And so we want to talk with our advisors and we want to say, well, tell us about the family. You know, what have they done before? If they've already been world travelers by the age of five, this is the perfect experience for them, right? But if it's their first trip out of the US, you know, they might want to wait a little bit longer. But it's really designed so that they get the heart and soul and the, the feel of being an explorer and getting out there and understanding and learning it, but as a family. Um, and so it really is all ages. So don't, don't be hemmed in by an age bracket. Right. That is not what we're about. And we are talking to travel advisors, and as you know, uh, Insider Travel Report, we're trying to always help them. Let's talk about something they need to take advantage of, the pre-booking. Oh, yeah. Pre-bookings are awesome. Go so, it, look, <laughs> this, one of my favorites. This and wait lists. Um, so, pre-bookings are really important. If you have a client that is looking for 24, 25, and you know the dates, because we are always in Galapagos year-round. We're always in Alaska. You can actually give your sales team a call here at Limblad Expeditions, and we go into the system. We put their names, your name, contact details, the ship, the category that they're thinking of, and the possible dates. There's no charge for that. It's free, but it sits in the system. And so before we go public- and No deposit. No right. deposit. Yep, it's totally free. Um, and before we go public with the new dates, we will reach out to that advisor and say, hey, the Smiths can be confirmed right now. So you're jumping the queue and getting your clients onto the list straight away. So that use those pre-bookings. The next thing is wait lists. You know, often folks ring and they're like, you guys are always so busy. We are, we sell out, which is really exciting. It shows that people really want to travel with us. But you wait list all the time because there's always people moving, right? They hold space, final payment comes due, maybe they've got something else going on. And if you wait list, there's a really good chance we're going to clear your clients. But if you don't wait list, we have no idea. So pre-book and wait list, two of my favorite things to get our advisors to participate in. We've got more. What about <laughs> what about uh, taking two trips and connecting them? Yes, back to back trips. Yeah. This is something that um, you know a lot of advisors ask us because they may not see it on our website, mm -hmm. but a lot of our trips do um, have the ability to connect up. So, Lisa, this is a big <laughs> topic for you. I know it you're is. very passionate about. It so, is. why don't you talk about some of the opportunities? So, yeah, I, I'm going to jump on Galapagos first, right? Because there are two weeks, and we have slightly different itineraries because of permits in the Galapagos, right? You can only visit certain places so many times do the two trips back to back i mean come on we have had every day we've oh, finished no. every day and everyone's gone best day ever right, right. Uh, and Can no you imagine if we had more days nobody wants to go home tomorrow no. um and so if you truly want a deep dive in galapagos do back to backs in galapagos there's a 10 percent discount every time you do a back to back you hear that 10 percent. <laughs> and the cool thing is people always talk to us and go you should do an around the world right no we don't want to do an around the world we want to do from pole to pole mm -hmm. so you could if you wanted to on our new ship the national geographic resolution start up in alaska come across down past petropavlos through the kuril islands to nagata in japan nagata down through korea around japan to kobe kobe down through the ryuku islands into taiwan Taiwan across through the atolls all the way to Papeete, Papeete to Easter Island, Easter Island down into Patagonia, and then all the way to, down to Antarctica. Those are all individual trips. 
but you could add all of those together. So there are opportunities to expand time aboard and really explore really remote, remarkable places. How can travel advisors get involved? I know one thing is the uh, 360 program. Let's talk about that. Expedition 360s. Um, this is our new training platform. So whether you are on a computer or on a mobile device, you will be able to access um, six modules where you can really do a deep dive into what is Expedition, um, the history and legacy of Lindblad, because we were first in Antarctica and we were also first here in the Galapagos to, to bring um, non-researchers and non-scientists uh, to these amazing places. And each of the devices remembers where you were. It does. So yeah. for, for you, we know how busy you are, and sometimes you cannot go through an entire module at one point, so you can stop and you can pick up when you're ready. But there's more. So Expedition 360 also has both a promote section as well as a um, sales section to really help the advisor. So there's materials that they have access to where they can email directly to the client. We do not capture the email address or any of the contact details of the client because it goes straight from their email. You know, one of the things is Gina and I were talking about just the sound. Um, one of the, it, this is a sensory overload, right? We've just come back from Hanavesa Island, and the, not only were there red-footed boobies, there were Nazca boobies, there's, there's owls, there's red-beaked tropic birds, there's, Floria, there's mockingbirds, there's just this remarkable cacophony of sound. And when you can just sit there, it's not even, you, you, you honestly have to put the camera down you have to stop yourself from just being behind the lens and you have to just listen because it's above you and it's next to you and it's in front of you on the ground. It's amazing. Uh, we were on Bar Bartolome and we climbed all the way up. Yes. We're way up looking down at the ocean and the naturalist says, quiet now, do you see that fish jumping? Listen and you will hear it all the way up here and we did. Yeah. It was amazing. Yeah, it's, it's taking the time to breathe and take it in, right? We rush through life so quickly. And this last year and a half, two years, it's been breakneck speed for all of us, right? And sometimes you just have to take a moment and, and take it in. And it, it's, it's quite emotional when you do that because it, it's overwhelming. Also, the world doesn't feel safe to us. Mm. But when we come here to a place where the animals feel safe, animals feel we so safe. feel we get the feeling of safety from them. Yes. I didn't expect the reversal. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a great way to look at it. It's a really beautiful way to look at it, actually, because we we do we they have no fear of us, and we talk about this always in presentations. And advisors and their clients look at us and go, "Oh, yeah, sure, okay, right, I believe you." <laughs> and and it's hard to get across to them that we just had a Nazca booby. We were walking down the trail and he was leading us. I mean, it was like a, a junior expedition specialist. He was on his way down the trail and he wasn't getting out of his, our way for anything. And so you have to slow down. You have to just be in the moment. And, and I think that's what people don't realize about this remarkable place, these islands, and how important it is that we protect them and ensure they're here for the next generation because they, they really are what this world can be if we care for the places that we love. It's, it's just an amazing place. Okay. Yeah. So let's just wrap up. I, we, we go out to over 90,000 travel advisors. What do you want them to know? Well, first, I want you to know that at Lindblad Expeditions, on behalf of the entire sales team, and we have um, Jacinta McAvoy and Samantha Gorin that are, are not here with us, um, unfortunately, this week, but we're dedicated to you. And we, um, we can't do our job without you. So we want to make it easy for you. The sales team is accessible. Um, they want to help you. They truly want to um, be that advocate, that consultant for you. And so um, expedition travel is not something that a lot of advisors feel comfortable with, but our team, we truly have the best team in the business. So use this team so that you can sell more expedition travel. And, and use the, uh, the website, the 360 program. Yes, absolutely. I want to thank you both and good luck thank and you. it's going to be a great year. Thank you so much. We appreciate you being here with us. Thanks, Alan. And this is Alan Fine for Insider Travel Report.